Uh, I don't think it's that. It's just that camera's just not great. Hey, what's up, good people? Guess who's back, 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 back again, again. Yeah. Welcome back. It feels Welcome so back. good to Welcome be back. back. It's one, Tuesday one, night. Uh, it's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, which means it's time for the show. I'm Tim. I'm Ray. Welcome to the Great Scale, where it's bigger than black and white. It's bigger than black and white. Hey, we That's on right. that sports talk. Yo. Welcome back. Stevie says welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. back. I gotta get fo- I gotta get right over here. Let me get focused. Let me get straight. Uh, uh, Tim still got the beat show. machine out there. What's up? Where y'all been? What's up, good people? Yes. Yeah. How we doing? How we does? Man, it's would been it a be long like time fresh? How that song go? Without a dope beat, the step two. Without a dope beat, step two, step two. So we, yeah, that was like a Aaliyah jam bad. or something. Wasn't it? Uh, we back in full effect though. You know, ready to rock and roll, ready to give you a piece of our minds once again. Uh, your boy Tim and Ray. Uh, Tim, man, what's been good with you? Look, we were supposed to look reconvene this thing back in January, man. So much been going on. Uh. I done took over these football coordinator duties down here for the Beach Marlins, trying to get this program running and up and going. Uh, a lot of great people working with us. Uh, a lot of great things going on so far. So beautiful. So far. So uh, beautiful. But yeah, that 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 had us caught up and focusing on that. Uh, I know you got busy at the shop, so our, work, our work, work. was delayed after our Christmas break. But here we are. Here we are in full effect. We back. And we back, and we back, and we back. So, yeah, we're back. And uh, we're doing things a little bit differently now. We're switching it up a little bit. We're going to kind of um, theme this this show a little bit more around, like, um, I guess, like what? Like sports and entertainment? Would that be the best way to say it? I mean, yeah, sports, sports and entertainment. And, you know, your, 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 your general, yeah, general things. things on, not uh, so... No. Um, not so political, I guess, is the right. best word, right? The best way to say it. Indeed. Yeah. So we're going to try that and see how that goes. Thank you for watching. If you're watching, if you're not, don't we don't thank you for that. Uh-oh, you're what not. happened? I lost. We got some buffer. Oh, that might just be on that end. It's not on our, uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, so anyway, yeah. If things do get uh, wonky, please let us know. Um yeah, the video will be will be better than the sh- live stream. It'll be smoother, most likely. So anyway, um, that sound sounding good. Does it sound good? I can hear it clear. Good, good, good. That's awesome. On our so new, new yeah, we you know yeah, and also you might notice that we're like like in some previous episodes we weren't in the same place, um, and that's probably going to be true for a lot of the show moving forward, right? Like we're going to be. You're gonna be at your house. I'm gonna be here at the shop. Um, we're not necessarily. Yeah, we'll, do, well, we'll have right. different live locations. That's why I said um, most of the show. Yeah, yeah. we'll go most. live from you know on site. Yeah. Uh, different events that we'll attend. You know what uh, I think would be fun yeah. if we could figure out how to do it. We have I haven't talked to you about this yet, and I think it'd be really cool if we can figure out like a cool way to do it. Would be to. Act as if we're announcing a game. Oh, right? for sure. Like, get together, watch the game, and announce it live instead of playing the announcers from the game that are actually announcing right. the game. You know what I mean? I think that would be cool. That'd be a that'd be a live event. <clears throat> yeah, it'd be something fun for sure. Tune in to a to a, a Cowboys whoever game, right? And just and just chat yeah. about it. Yeah, talk about it while it's on. I can get my Stacey King on. That's right, yes. No, that's basketball. Give me the hot that's sauce. Basketball. Give me the hot sauce. So, yeah, Joe Buck and Troy Eggman. Shot slam my jammer. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, drive home safe, Chicago. That's that's the best of the Stacey King, because, you know, you got to oh, drive yeah. home safe. Hey, I love Stacey King, man. He's good. Stacey He's King really good. Chicago. You know, he has He's a podcast. He's an okay ball player, too, man. Yeah, he was. Uh, back in his day, Stacey King was He's got some, King was he's got some okay rings, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know he has a podcast called Give Me the Hot Sauce. 
And it's oh, actually, really? yeah, it's really good. I it's I really good. That. Yeah, you should you should listen to it. It's, it's fun. Give me the I, Give I, me the bet so. I'm, I will listen because yeah. I bet that's a good podcast. Yeah, they've had uh, a couple of the episodes I've listened to. They've had Zach Levine on. They've had Derek, uh, DeMar DeRozan on. Yeah. Uh, I think they had Alex Caruso on, but I haven't listened to that episode yet. That kid, speaking of Alex Caruso. Caruso a smooth dude. Dude, he's like. He's straight up a thief on the court, dude. He's a baller. He yeah. is not scared to reach in and yeah. steal that ball. Yeah. Not even you know a little what? bit. Like, watching him play, especially with this team makeup, you realize, like, how much the Lakers lost, bro. Yeah. Like, Caruso uh, and other players. They even Caldwell Pope. Like, they lost yeah. a lot uh, when it came to that championship run. And, yep. uh Skilled players, man. I like Crazy. Caruso. I do, too. Lakers um, suck, by the way. Yeah, they do. They're so they're so bad. And if oh, you're a Lakers so fan, I don't feel bad for you. That team blows. Yeah, you got to know. It's not all Russell Westbrook's fault. Like honestly, I'm watching that team, and anytime LeBron has a turnover or some fluky go down on the offensive end, he does not run back. He's not. He's not yeah, athletic, he man. Play. He's not as athletic uh, as he used to be at all. Well, it's not. Or does he just not, not care so anymore? It's not so much that he's not athletic. Like, he's not making an effort to make defense a part. Like, he's not. Yeah. And, and I, you know, he living off those chase down blocks from the past. And I know they say it's, you know, uh, the regular season. But for them, they almost out the they they not in the playoffs. I was gonna say you got to play the regular season to get to play in the postseason. You like, don't just get a free shot at it. So I'm like you're nine <laughs> games under five hundred. Yeah, and you're not running back on defense. Yeah, you're not even trying to get there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're not there yet. I'm just no. Uh, I'm but, right. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. I want to talk a little bit about something that bothers me about, uh, and we might have actually touched on it in some of the show before. LeBron is a baby. Doyle says LeBron is a baby. Dude, yeah. he is a baby. Um, my dude, Ryan Doyle oh. from back in the day. Um, Ryan Doyle from the block. No, nah, he wasn't. Doyle wasn't a neighborhood kid. He was just. Uh, he was. He was just our dude from school. Man, we used to skate and go to ICP concerts and all that fun stuff. So yeah, so tonight on the show we're gonna fill out our NCAA tournament brackets. Oh, yeah. Live on the show at some point. It's bracket time. Um, And also, we want to encourage you guys to fill out an NCAA men's tournament bracket. You can fill out a women's tournament bracket, too. Um, But we're going to give away some sort of prize. We haven't really determined what it is yet. Um, It'll be a value. It will be a value. It will be like a gift card to somewhere, you know, a Visa card or or something to that effect. Amazon. 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 An Amazon gift card or something like that. Drop some in the comments. What do you think winning a... NCAA bracket tournament is worth well who who is the last person standing it's gonna be last person standing yeah yeah you don't have to like complete out a full like legit bracket or anything it'll just be of the however many people compete within our group uh last man standing wins kind of but the route you have to put your bracket in I mean you could do it tonight but we're gonna share by tomorrow night yeah by tomorrow night whoever watches for sure uh, for sure watch it from this point yeah, you can just like not, take a screenshot not, of it or something and tag the page with it and all that kind of stuff. Put it in the comments. You think Auburn's going to take the whole thing, Doyle? I don't know about that. Auburn. Auburn even have a basketball team? Weird. I think it's the 25th or 25 year anniversary uh, of what? Arizona. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. I think they won it back in 97. It's 2022. That's, That's 25, 25 years. years. Yeah. I think they won it back in 97. That's 25 I years. I don't know what that has to do with anything. 97, 98. I mean, you know, 25-year anniversary. You know those landmarks sometimes. Yeah, you that's know. fair. I got Kentucky's you. Kentucky's nice. I, Gonzaga's nice again. Gonzaga's nice, yeah. They're going to be the team to beat, but any team at any point can do it, as we've seen in the past. Yeah. Like, you, you never you, know, man. You never know what's going to happen. Bro, before we get into this basketball, though, look. It's TB12, bro. Tommy like, Boy. Tommy Boy hey, is back. It's, hey, look, Tom Brady's back. It's funny, like, seeing the memes. Bro, Tom, Brady, them, bro, like, Tom Brady spent two weeks with them kids and got, yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. I got to get back on the, on the field, man. Hey. This is ridiculous. 
He like I already done miss. He like I done missed the fun stages. Yeah, I'm out, now bro. They, now they some needy ass teenagers. Yeah, I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look. What kind of car are you about to buy me, yeah, Dad? They probably, and they probably like, no, Dad, go play. Like, if you think like, hey, hey the kids probably like, no, Dad, go play. Like, get out of here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What are you no. even doing here? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> these kids probably don't care if Tom Brady's at the house. They would no. rather him be playing football. Yeah, because they get to go to all the games. Yeah. And Look. Well, it's not like, to be fair, it's not like they, if he wasn't playing anymore, like, I'm sure they could still go to any yeah, game they damn well watch please, you, you know? Yeah, dad do it. And I'm like, hey, if it was me, I'm like, Pop, if you can still play, go play. We good. Yeah, we don't need like, you here. Yeah. Don't be out here talking about you retiring because You see of the us. ones are that are crazy? like, uh, yeah. uh, gas prices went up. <laughs> Tom Brady yeah. was calling back. Hey, if, I'm, hey, if I'm his son, I'm like, Dad, play till you 50. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah. Like, as long as he can keep playing, man, I think he should. I, I I, think at some point, like we talked about this last year, actually, before the season started, like he, Tom Brady now, even not playing at his like peak performance level, is still better than a uh, Teddy Bridgewater or a, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Like he's still, yeah. he's still better than a lot of these other guys that are, you know, he's backups or whatever. Wentz. Carson Wentz. Right. For yeah. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So like, and Aaron Rodgers too, as you know, he's not as, hadn't been around as long as Brady, but see, they're still like the two oldest guys yeah. in the league. And, and they're like the top, they're like the best two quarterbacks in the league still. They are. But Aaron not that smart, though. Like, yeah, he's not as. He uh, took way too much money. And now that's a he, lot of now, money. And now they got to pay Devontae Adams. And look, I know we said it's a lot of money. But the teams make a lot of money. They do. But not everybody makes that type of money, right? Like, does Patrick Mahomes really need $50 million? Now, I say, does he really need $50 million? Of course he needs $50 million, But... To spread it out and have other guys be able to get paid that are just right. important to the team. Like Tom unlike, Brady did. Right. Like, yeah. unlike most sports, like a baseball, like with football, you need everybody. Yeah. Like, if your cornerback sucks, you have a problem. You can only mask so much. Like, so to me, it's more so guys should be less selfish. Peyton Manning did it for years. Yeah. Now, mind you, the Mannings have a gold mine. Have you seen uh have you seen I don't know if it's a real quote or not, but I would hope it is. It's a picture of Peyton and it says uh it, it, it's like talking about Tom Brady having six Super Bowl rings or however many he's got now. And it says uh if it wasn't for my mom, he'd have twelve or, or eleven or something like that. <laughs> it's oh, pretty- oh. It's pretty funny because you know he got beat in the Super Bowl twice. Oh yeah, by, yeah, yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. if it wasn't for I think her name's Olivia or something, it's like if it wasn't yeah. for Olivia Manning, he'd have twelve <laughs> or have, something like that. I have seen that meme. It's pretty funny. Oh, but yeah, man, it's 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 one of those things where you do have to you have to weigh your options. And you know, Tom's married to a supermodel. You know, they got plenty of money. Yeah. So it's like, do you continue to push the envelope? And make all this absorbing money, or and then people are like, well, he ain't had as many weapons. You can't pay everybody that. There's yeah. a salary cap. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. If you like, take all the money, then there's no money left look, to pay the other guys. Well, now look, Devontae Adams is saying he's not going to play under the franchise tag. Oh yeah. So it's like instead of taking, like Rogers, why not leave? 30 million right there for Devontae to have in terms of salary cap spacing or whatever the number may be because this you got to throw to this guy anyway right yeah you got to have other people there so what anyway. do you think about this scenario so there's this speaking of Teddy Bridgewater there's from what I understand there he's going to sign to the Dolphins for a year for as a backup but what? yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's happened yet, but that's the rumor on the street is that Teddy Bridgewater so. is going to sign mm-hmm. to the Dolphins for a year. So he was only on the one year deal with Lynn Denver. I thought it was a two year deal. They well, they released. just got Wilson. I got the, so. I know they got Russ Wilson, but I figured Teddy would be a decent backup. backup yeah. Well, they also know because they got rid of Drew Locke in the trade, right? So, right. 
Yeah, who well no they that they but they drafted somebody else. They drafted a quarterback in the uh last draft. Drew Locke's been in the league for two years, right? And yeah, they drafted right. another quarterback. So they do have somebody I think they drafted, uh it's the son of a coach, was it? It wasn't Ripian. Uh I don't know. A son of a former football player, I think. Um, not any good. Yeah, he's no good anyway. It doesn't matter. I mean, that Carson Wentz's trade, I mean, I think Indianapolis got off good because he's, he's a bum. And I think Tyler Heineke's, Heineke's a better quarterback than he is, actually. Uh, yeah. When I'm going to Washington. Yeah. That kid, like, he played good, I think. I think he's going to be – he'll be okay. And he has playoff experience. Where do you think Deshaun Watson is going? I don't know, man. I, to be completely honest, I was a fan of all the talk about Deshaun Watson going to Miami. I know they were going to have to give up way too much to get him, but I was a fan of the idea. It's not going to happen now. Um, But... I honestly don't know, man. Man, he need it. Look, it'd be it wouldn't surprise he's, me if a, if a Tennessee somehow pulled. He's it not off. definitely not going to get ousted like a like a Kaepernick or anything. He's no. going to he's going to land he's somewhere. Not, not get no criminal charges. Yeah, he's going to land somewhere, but I don't know where it's going to be. I'm looking at Indianapolis. Miami could still be in play, but I'm thinking a dark horse. I don't think Miami's be, in play anymore. I'm, no, I'm thinking a dark horse. Now that Denver's out of the picture, I'm thinking a dark horse is Tennessee. Tennessee? You don't think Tannehill's Ryan gonna Tenn- stick it out? No, Ryan Tannehill is not it. Like he showed that. I think when Tennessee, when Henry was hurt. But no, I'm, I'm not giving it to him. I think Tennessee could package a young running back like Deont uh, Foreman. Yeah, and who showed nice even when with, in the playoffs, Foreman, Tannehill, and maybe throw in some draft picks there, and I think they can uh, get away with getting the shot because they'll let that other boy compete with Tannehill, the one that's been playing this year. Yeah, Davis Mills is that who played? Yeah, Mills. yeah. They'll let him compete with Tannehill because Tannehill ain't proved nothing. You got Julio, yeah. you got AJ Brown. I know they were hurt. But you had Arsenal receivers, man. Yeah. Uh, and those interceptions he threw in the playoff were bad picks. Those were bad picks. That's that's um, tan- that's textbook Ryan Tannehill, though. That's what I'm you saying. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's it is. It's see, like when when you when you you he can he can play ball. Yeah. But he's a choke artist, man. Like right. he really is. Tennessee could be trying to revisit those Steve McNair years. Yeah. Eddie George, and then you have a quarterback Aaron like Watson with Henry, and you got you a you got you some flash with some boom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I so, liked Deshaun Watson when he was at Clemson. I'm not, right. you know, and they and I had we had Bears, to play against Bears, him from Florida Bears, State, being a Florida State Bears, fan. So Trubisky over Watson, that was I a know crazy that was such draft, a weird man. draft, crazy draft, man. Change your whole life. But anyway, Change your uh, I, th- I think Tennessee could be a dark horse now. I don't think San Francisco is really in play like people say because Trey Lance got to get a chance. Uh, I think so too. You can't – Trey Lance got to get a chance unless you're going to trade Jimmy and Trey. That means you probably – you're looking at a three-way trade where you send Trey Lance to Indianapolis, Jimmy to Houston, right. and Deshaun goes to San Fran. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of work. That's, a, that's a lot of bureaucratic right. figuring out rid, paperwork. got to get rid of both quarterbacks. But anyway. Uh, I'm, I don't know. Do you think Brady coming back? Um, I mean, I don't know if Gronk was talking about leaving or not or, nah, or retiring or anything, back, he's but coming, he, he's yeah. definitely not going to if Brady's back, right? He's There's no yeah. way. Yeah. Brady coming back, Gronk going back to Tampa. Do you now, think if Brady didn't come back that Gronk would have retired sometime in the offseason? No, I think Gronk would have went and played for the top contender. Yeah? 
even if he went to LA. Even if it was LA. Huh? Higgy B got hurt. LA's in a very good position to repeat. They those guys yeah. under contract, as far as I know. Yeah. You know, that's why only, they don't uh... have any draft picks. They don't have any draft picks because they were set up to win, and if they win, to keep their guys to go after a repeat. Right. Yeah, the only reason the Dolphins have a first round pick is because they get somebody's first round pick, but it's like the twenty eighth pick or something, you know? Right. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, that's still good. Uh, that's still gonna be good for them in the first round. You gotta, yeah. I mean, if you're I not mean, winning, you gotta have a first dropped, round pick. Even if they dropped, even if they dropped that and picked up a two, a third in the fourth round, I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, but, um. What were you just saying about the... Oh, I was going to say, it'd be nice if the Lions had a... um, Would have had a a Super Bowl caliber quarterback like Matt Stafford for, you know, 16 years or whatever, right? The Lions, that's that's terrible. Oh, that's what we were saying, that uh, the Rams were set up to repeat anyway. Yeah. um, In terms of of how they orchestrated things, which it, it worked out perfectly for them. Um, but no, I think I think with Brady coming back, Gronk's gonna go back to Tampa on a discounted rate because that's his boy. You already got Mike Evans. I think Goodwin and Godwin's a free agent. Godwin, yeah. Uh so something's gonna have to be done there. But you know, I think Allen Robinson from Chicago is gonna be free. He he can go down there to Tampa on a year basis. Uh, I think you're gonna see some late cut here, late cuts here. Uh, Mari Cooper already got traded, you know, to yep. the Browns. Um, I think you'll see a little bit more of that to where Brady. Will yeah, but that's because Landry's because, probably gonna leave. Who's that? Landry's probably gonna leave Cleveland. Oh, he got cut. So oh, yeah. did he get cut? Okay. You can see Landry down in in, in Tampa replacing uh, Godwin. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. So uh, if Landry goes down there. I mean, they right back rolling. Yeah. And trust me, Antonio Brown will end up on somebody's roster. You think so? That guy's. Yeah, I think so. He's something else, man. I think he's so. an interesting cat. And Beckham towards ACL again. You know, they waiting on uh, Woods to come back, but uh, I think Antonio Brown is going to end up on somebody's roster, and LA could be in play. Yeah. With the injuries that they have. LA could be in play. Interesting. Now, and we Plus, haven't talked to David Carr. We haven't He's seen. Um, we we still have the draft coming up too, so we don't know what happens. You know, we're talking right. about people making moves for existing players, but you know, I don't know if there's a whole lot of like top tier players coming into the draft this year in star positions. I can't think of any huge names that I know of off the top of my head, but you know. There's always going to be that, like you kind of said earlier about dark horses, like there's always going to be that dark horse in the draft that's like, you know, people weren't expecting to be great, but but turns right. out to be. But I don't know any I top think, names this year, to be honest. They, right. They really haven't been promoting any. And I think, you know, because the guy that won the Heisman was, what, a red shirt sophomore? Uh, um, He's not coming. I don't coming know. Up. Right. Yeah. But I, I think know. he was a red shirt sophomore. Uh, you got uh, the receiver Alabama that got hurt, uh, but they really haven't. Oh yeah, Michi or something or yeah, Michi. Yeah, something. Uh, like no that. one Mitch. was it Mitch? I don't remember. Something like that's it, his name. Anyway, anyway uh, and then you got the defensive end because really the top of the draft, the mock drafts, has the defensive end from Michigan, a couple offensive tackles, defensive linemen. Like there's. The quarterbacks are not even projected high, right? Right. So, and I think you're also seeing the shift in college college football because there's a there's a few leagues that are about to try to start up again. Like That's right. The XFL, well, there's a league starting uh, next month. There's an, uh, the USFL or whatever right. it is 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 kicking off next month, unless something's changed. But so, and then you have to think now. College players are able to earn a living in college 
right. the NIL or whatever it is. That yeah, it's like we talked about last year. Like, yeah, we talked about that. You're so more now, incentivized to stay in college and finish school, your degree right. and keep playing because now you're not getting paid to play football necessarily, right. but you're getting endorsement deals from Nike or Adidas Bro, or whomever. Uh, a $30,000 a year endorsement deal while you on scholarship at school. That's huge. It changed your life. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. That's more money than I make. That, you know what I mean, though? Yeah, legit. Like, That's you just being at the end uh, of the day, I'm sure. at uh, Oklahoma and you get yeah. to do some, be on the cereal box. Yeah. Be on the Wheaties. Uh, <sighs> I think you're seeing that shift to where maybe, especially with these college players already making some money, being able to yeah. build their brand, they might start branching off to these other leagues and knowing that the NFL, not necessarily where they have to go. So, as they're building their brand in college now, because think about it, the NBA in the NBA fans are starting to follow players more than ever. That's right. Yeah. Fans follow LeBron, wherever he went. Like, yeah, honestly, the ball brothers. Fan, yeah. I'm from Chicago, but living in Florida, like once Derrick Rose left, like I was more of a Derrick Rose fan. fan. Yeah. Than anything, you know what yeah. I'm saying. So I think you starting to get those fans that, and I think the NFL is starting to see that, <clears throat> and I think the college players are gonna see that in these new leagues. They'll start building their imagery yeah. and building up these new leagues. That's true. I'm I'm like, I wish there wasn't as much movement of players as there is. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, it's, Rose has played for what? Four teams now, three or four teams. New York twice, Cleveland, Utah briefly, the Bulls, Obviously Minnesota. The Bulls. Yeah, I was thinking, thinking he played in Minnesota for a little while. Yeah, so, it was so like that's like Bulls. five teams. Yeah, yeah. And for a player of that caliber, that's nuts. But remember, they they almost tried to blackball Rose out yeah. the league. Yeah. With that little rape case that he beat. Yeah. Well, they did the same thing to Kobe. Yeah, it's, they try to they try to get him. Yeah, you got to be careful out here. Yeah, man, you put that thing Kanye, away. Don't be they, getting they caught, call man. Kanye, they call Kanye crazy for saying train our boys in the faith. Yeah, you know, test them, tempt them, because you get caught up in these situations and you're not prepared for them. It's yeah, it's no. different when you yeah. go from it's it's different when you go from uh, just being a dude to being a superstar right and everybody's throwing themselves and at you yeah. and if you turn them down they can turn that around on you you know what i mean like right and it's not a and that and that's for anybody with money it's not yeah. a race thing i think the only no i think the only difference is when people complain about the race issue is you see somebody like kobe getting dragged rose getting dragged and you know it's all through and through I think Ben Roethlisberger got fairly dragged enough, but yeah. it was kind of out of there real quick. Yeah, you know, there's still people that bring that up, though. Like, I, yeah, I hear it get time, brought up. Sure. Yeah, I still hear it get for brought sure. up quite a bit. For sure. He definitely ain't getting no pass. Yeah. Uh, uh, we got, but I, And that's to say that I, I'm not here to say that Ben or any other. It's to say that you got to be careful. Yeah. Do I think Tupac raped somebody? Probably not. You know, but it's like here it is, it's kind of like know. why would you need to? Right, I'm like it's just hard to fathom. You know, yeah, like but it is what it is. We're not gonna get into that. Yeah, sorry, the psychology of anybody. Uh, you know, make it, sure my it, headphones don't come off. Right, oh. but anyway, man, it's we need to look at these brackets because we about thirty minutes in. Oh yeah, brackets, uh, bracketology. Why? Bracket. Where are you? I got the West bracket pulled up. Hey. If you're watching, ladies and gents, get your brackets ready. If you got some, I'm gonna pull boy. this. I'm gonna pull this over here and try to not put it over your face, so oh, I can uh, so I can scroll through it and show people what I'm doing. Oh, I can't even see the whole people's names right here. So are you? I'm on the West bracket right now. Me with too. Gonzaga. Me too. Yeah. I can't. I can't do it without having your face on it. Um, I'm definitely picking Gonzaga to win the first round for sure so i'm going gonzag and then i'm going 
I'm, I'm going. taking let's go Gonzaga, Georgia State, one and sixteen. Yeah, I'm going Memphis over Boise. You going Memphis over Boise? Yeah, for sure. You going with you going with Penny Hardaway? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take Memphis myself. Then we got five and twelve. I'm going New Mexico State. Mm, I can't do it. I'm sticking with I'm sticking with UConn on that one. Um, let's see. Chime in here, folks. If you're watching, chime in and talk talk to us about what you think about what's going on here. What's who's UVM? Wait, where you at? Uh, I'm on Arkansas and Vermont. Who you okay, Arkansas about? is Vermont. Okay, University of Vermont. Okay, UVM. It says on my screen, UVM. I'm taking Arkansas. With this. Yeah, I got to do Arkansas on that one too. Um, eleven and six. Notre Dame or Rutgers versus Alabama. Oh, I don't think that was drawn yet. Did they decide? It says Rutgers if you click on the... Oh, no, they got to do a play-in game, it looks like, against uh, Notre Dame. Did Rutgers win that, or...? I don't know, but I'm taking Bama. Yeah, it seems like an awful lot of work to try to get there. Um, They're going to be drained. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and click duke on theirs just because we're not i know i'm not that far yet but texas oh texas tech versus montana state three verse 14 i'm gonna put a crazy uh thing and pick montana state on that one Ooh. just to be different just to be different just to be different i don't know why i kind of want to pick uh i'm going tt I think yeah that's, that's probably the smarter pick to be honest I would say Davidson that's definitely the smarter pick, actually. Versus Michigan State. I really want to pick Davidson here, but I I'm just... I'm picking Davidson. Are you? I Steph really Curry want to. On fire. His alma mater going to be on fire. I'm picking Davidson. Oh, man. I really wanted to. Like I, The whole time I've been thinking that, and then I'm like, I don't know, man. It's t- They're so close in like, record and everything, too. It's not that big of a difference, but... Uh, uh, all right, I'm going to do it. Pick Davidson. All right, so we going to the south now? You got to pick Arizona for Wait, sure. Wait, you went to the south? Yeah, it's just straight across, so I just went over to that one. Hold on. I ain't no – hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you in the south? Yeah, okay, stay at the top on. of the bracket. And so I'm going to take Arizona. Yep. Definitely Arizona. TCU or Seton Hall? Is that what that is? Hold on. You looking at A versus 9, TCU versus Seton Hall? Uh, I'm going to go. Man, that's a tough one. I'm I'm picking TCU. TCU. Oh, look at that. Same time. That was funny. Definitely Houston over UAB. You said Houston over UAB. Yeah. That's the 5 12 matchup. Mm hmm. I got to pick Illinois for my boy Io DeSumo, right? Hold on. Wait, what you what, what match? Are you looking at the, the next four, one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going I'm going to line out there for sure. My boy Io 11-6 Michigan Yo, versus speaking Colorado of, Speaking State. of the the Illinois fighting Illini and Io DeSumo, how good do you think he's going to be? As good as he is now, his rookie year. Have you been paying any like that much attention yeah. to him? I mean, he's like, been on my fantasy team several times. Yeah, I, as like as much as he's just put Trey Young in his place this year every time they've played, pretty much, and like he's a rookie. He was like a third round pick or nah, something. Might be right. He said Arizona team to beat. I'm listening. Go ahead. Arizona and Gonzaga, I think, are probably the, yeah. the two teams to beat for sure. He's a third round, second like round a third, pick. second or third round pick. Like definitely got, got overlooked and is just balling out, dude. Like if he obviously there's the all, the the caveat of if he stays healthy, right? But yeah. like, dude's gonna be a stud. He's small, but he could get a little bigger. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's gonna be a. Uh, I think if he put, I think, I mean, Trey's small too, but 
Yeah, but Trey's not the only has, person he has to play against all season. Yeah, I think he's you know? just like if he bulks up a little bit. But my thing is, he's so efficient. He's a he's a he's a like a student of the game. Like you know what me, I mean? Like he knows the game. He can be he can be to me as good as a little better because he's a better defender, but like a better Jamal Crawford. Right. He's like right. so stoic. He doesn't ever seem to get right. mad about anything or upset right. when stuff that, happens. That's He's how just... Jamal Crawford was. But yeah. Jamal Crawford could put up 30, 40. Yeah. yeah. But he wasn't as good a defender. I think uh, I think Dusamu is a good defender. He's a great defender. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. A much better defender than Jamal ever was. Yeah. And I think his efficiency – around the basket is better. Jamal was probably a better pure shooter. Right. But I think his efficiency around the basket plus his ability to shoot uh in high efficient numbers, he's very he's very uh good at taking advantage of his opportunities. Yeah. I'm interested to see as long as he stays in Chicago, I, I'm interested to, honest, to see what happens with yeah, him. <laughs> I think and I think honest, he will unless they do something stupid. I, right. I think to be honest Yes, Zach Levine is high flying, but I think Dusamu fits better with DeRozan mm. and his efficiency. And you still have Kobe White, who's a sharpshooter. Everybody's talking about trade Kobe, trade Kobe. And I'm thinking, no, actually. No, don't trade Kobe. I don't think they'll trade I'm thinking, Kobe. I'm thinking if DeRozan can give you two more years like this, but you can just sign like a megastar to go along with him, with yeah. Dusamu, like. You can like say if a healthy Anthony Davis would put us over the top, right? Because he's got star power. And don't forget, we'll probably we'll have Patrick Williams back next year, right? Too. Right. So, so I think Levine is the one that needs to go. To be honest with you. Yeah. But anyway, we'll get back to the bracket. Let's get back to the bracket. So you had where did my bracket go? Uh, my bracket run off, man. So we were on eleven and six. My bracket's gone. Uh, so I've. No. Yeah, I got to start over. I I picked Memphis. I I picked UConn. I picked I got Michigan taking this. I picked Alabama. I picked Montana State. I picked Davidson. I picked Duke. Okay. I don't know what happened. It just disappeared. And then I picked Arizona, and I picked TCU, and I picked Houston, and I picked Illinois. And I got Michigan over Colorado State. I got Tennessee over Longwood. I'm taking I'm going I'm going top seeds the rest of the way down on this side. Ohio State and Villanova. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So number eleven and six, you took who? Michigan. Cause okay, I'm a crazy you. man. And then three and fourteen you took Tennessee. Yep. I picked the top seed the rest of the way down on the south. And then, oh, you picked Ohio, Ohio State picking, and Villanova. I'm Loyola, Chicago. Baby. I thought about it, but them boys ball out here. Yeah, Villanova for sure. Um, so now we'll go okay. to the East. Is that down to, to the, the east. east? To the East, to the East. We filling out brackets, boys and girls. I'm sorry, y'all beta. can't. Sorry, y'all can't Man. see Ray. Ray, if you could move your head to your left, some. That would be like perfect. Yeah, like that. You don't have I to keep it there necessarily. Like, yeah, when, like when you talk and stuff, you know. Okay, I'm off. Because I got I'm my like I got my bracket in your face, you know what I'm saying? Uh so I'm gonna take Baylor. Also. All right, we gotta switch, we gotta t- say this one at the same time, okay? UNC and Marquette. We gotta say them at the same time. Wait, which one you got? No, whoa, I'm not whoa, telling whoa, you. Whoa. We gotta say them at the same time. All right, so we're gonna count to three and we're gonna say them. All right, ready? One, two, three, Marquette. Uh, UNC, no. Oh, it's okay. You that's all right. You did it. You didn't you didn't say the same thing anyway. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta write these down because I don't have my pad all the way right. Where we at? No, uh okay, St. Mary's and one. whoever is the Wyoming and Indiana play in game. I'm 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 the play in game on I'm, I'm just going to St. Mary's. Me too. I'm, I'm gonna going. do the play. If there's a play in game, I'm picking I, the other yeah, team. I feel I think. like they're gonna be tired out, man. Yeah. They can't too much ball. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wrote 
wrote something down the wrong way. He wrote it down wrong, folks. Watch out. He's crazy. Me, then I'm going St. Mary's. All right, then you got the next one. All right, come on. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. UCLA. UCLA. <laughs> yeah, that one was that was obvious. I might pick a I might pick a uh, an upset on the Texas right. Virginia Tech one. I think I'll pick an upset here. You can't say it and then count down, Tim. I know, Stop. but this was not this was not close like an eight and nine. You know what I mean? Like that's what yeah. I did on the eight and nine one because they're like back to back seeds. You know, it's like well, if you take a Virginia, take Virginia. I am. Taking Virginia, Virginia Tech over Texas. I'm taking Texas. Do it. We are not both going to win. That is for sure. All right, you, you ready <laughs> on this Purdue Yale? Oh man, I, now you got me thinking. I might have to pick Yale. No, I'm not doing that. All right, let's do this. One, two, three. Purdue. Purdue. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Duh. I don't. I can't. I got to see who these two are. Murray State uh, and San Francisco. Oh, let's That's do this. Let's do this. This one's interesting. It is. I know who I want. Murray State's been good in the past. I don't know if I've yeah. ever seen San Francisco play a basketball game, though. They decent. Yeah. Decent. Decent guard play. Hmm. Um. All right, let's do this. One, two, three, San Francisco. Francisco. Oh, that's funny. Come on, man. Uh, and then, of Cheated. course, and then of course, I'm picking UK. Oh, yeah, I ain't, yeah, Kentucky for sure. Yeah. And then I got Kansas for sure. All right. Ryan said, don't count out Baylor. We ain't. No, definitely ain't not. Oh. No, I picked Baylor for sure. Uh, So we got to go Midwest. Yep. Look out. No, we won't have another show before round two. We got to pick them. Oh, yeah. So we can pick round two, but we'll have another show before the round of 16. We can give a prize out for oh, okay. first two rounds. That's true. We'll do first two rounds then. All right. So for this one, we got one verse. So I'm going, I mean, Kansas. You got to go Kansas here, yeah. That's not even a question. Oh, they should be down here. Kansas. And then you got eight verse nine. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Crazy. Ah, that was Ooh, funny. Bro, you <laughs> cheating. How am I cheating, bro? <laughs> hey, you cheating. You got it written on your forehead or something? He talking about you waiting on me to say crazy. No, you cheat. Right, I might. I'm gonna pick. A, I'm gonna pick an upset here in a minute for sure. No, you can't say I'm gonna pick an upset. But I'm not telling too. you which one. I'm not telling you which one. I'm just saying right. one of these next few. I have an upset in mind. All right, let's see what we. It's at. not right, this one though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not this one. One, two, two three. Richmond. Iowa, really nice. Yeah. Rich. Hey, five That's where little Dicky went to school, huh? Five verse twelve always do something. So I got two twelves. I oh. one, of them, one of them gonna pop. One of them's gotta mess up. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right, Providence versus South Dakota. Yeah, All that's right, interesting. Ready? Sure. One, two, Three South, South Dakota. Dakota. Dad, gum it. That's the one I was picking. Them cheating, that's y'all. the one I was. That's the one I had in mind to be my upset. That's too Damn, funny. I gotta pick South Dakota. I need to put Providence. Just I put got it South in. No, I'm gonna take South Dakota. I think it's gonna be a, a twelve versus thirteen matchup. That's interesting. Don't happen often. All right, we ready? Sure. LSU versus Iowa State. One, two. two Three LSU. LSU. I think that one's not necessarily a, in the bag, but I, I'm, I'm no, going no, with that I think one. They might take it. Uh, Wisconsin versus. I'm not going to bet on this one. I got Wisconsin. Yeah, it's Wisconsin. <laughs> you, can't, you can't put your money in weird places. Oh, damn cold. Now this day, is a, hey. this is a good one here. USC and Miami. It could happen, but how are these? Wait, how are these this? two teams in the Midwest bracket? USC uh, and Miami. 
Yeah, that's interesting. They should have been in the West. They don't bracket. actually do them based on like location necessarily. Mm -mm. We ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Miami. USC. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. And then, of course, for my boy Doyle, I got to pick Auburn at the end here. Auburn. Yeah. Man, Over Jacksonville, Jacksonville State. State. Are you? No, I'm going with all yeah, of us. You, you can't do that. That's crazy talk. So we got to go back. So that's round one on each one. Okay, yep. so that would leave us with. So you're you got, I got Kansas and Creighton. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, are we just going to do that one now? Oh, you want to go back to the beginning? I thought that's what I would do. Okay, come on. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's so go back one. back to the shack. All right, we're going back to the West, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Going back to that West division where we had the first winner. So you got, uh, I got Gonzaga versus... Memphis. Wait. Me too. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Gonzaga versus Memphis. And I am taking Gonzaga. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to see if Memphis can pull out the upset. I don't think they can, but I'm going to pick them too anyway. Just cuz it's fun. I'm taking Gonzaga. Damn, how do I need I need to figure out how to put this down properly. So this is my second round. I got Gonzaga. And then that leaves us with... So that was one versus that bracket. We have so a I'm different playing. We have a different matchup right here. You have New Mexico State, right? So I've got... Uh, who did I pick here? This is the 5 versus 12. Yeah, I have you New have... New Mexico State. And, and Arkansas. Arkansas, yeah. I have UConn and Arkansas, but I'm going to pick UConn to keep going. So I've got New Mexico State versus Arkansas. I am going to chop down with Arkansas to keep going for my number two. Dang. I got Arkansas. I'm putting twos next to the teams that I want to. I got that you. I'm saying to win in the second round. I'm just making a note. Second round winner. Then we can do another one on Tuesday before the Sweet 16. Right, right. Uh, so what's the next matchup? Is the 11 and 6 and then the 3 and 14. So uh, so you've got I've got Michigan versus 11. No, you're one up from there. You need to be either Bama or Ru you picked Bama. Oh and wait, yeah, Texas, sorry. and you pick Texas Tech, B Bama and Texas Tech. I got Tech. Bama and Texas Tech. Yeah. So I am going to shoot with Bama to continue. I did too. I picked Bama over whoever that other team was, Montana. Montana State, yeah. yeah. And then I picked Duke to beat Davidson. Oh, wait, you're talking about the... The next one, yeah. The next one you've got... You picked so Michigan, I had Davidson I advancing in the first. Oh, did you? We'll play Duke. Yeah, so you but... saying you got Duke over Davidson? Yeah. Duke over Davidson. Duke, Duke, Duke. Duke to Duke. Cool. And then, so then we have to go to the next bracket, right? Yeah, we'll so go back I've over got... to the south. I've got Gonzaga advancing to the Sweet 16. Arkansas, Bama, and Duke. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that's my Sweet <clears throat> 16. I, that's my four out of the West bracket. So let's go over to the South. I've got Arizona versus TCU. So do I. 
I'm going Arizona. Yeah, I think Arizona keeps going. Carlson now TCU. Then I got uh so Houston and Illinois. I got Illinois continuing. I got Houston continuing. Whoa. He's out of his mind, people. I got Houston continuing. He's out of his mind. Illinois ready to choke some. Uh, then I got Michigan and Tennessee. Yeah. I have Tennessee continuing. I'm going to go with Michigan there. But I'm definitely going to go with Villanova over Ohio State. All right. So I got Michigan. Hey, I want to see those brackets. If you're watching, I want to see those brackets. If you watch this later, let us see those brackets. Show me what your uh, bracket, I girl. And 10. I have Loyola Chicago and Villanova. I'm going to advance Villanova. Yeah. I think that's right. Hmm. I've got myself in a pickle here. Is that so? We're going to go to the east. Yep, Baylor goes on. So Baylor versus North Carolina for me. Yep. I am going to take. That's a tough one, B. That's crazy. I'm going man. North Carolina is just not disciplined, but they could make a run. I'm gonna take North Carolina to advance to the second round. Dude, do it. Three sixteen. I got Baylor beating St. Mary's there, so Baylor's beating wait, Baylor beating St. Mary. Yeah. Isn't that right? Oh no, sorry, no. Mike. St. Mary's is the next one. Baylor beating Marquette there, sorry. I had Marquette beating oh. UNC. So the next one should be I have St. Mary and uh should be UCLA. Mm-hmm. That's a tough one. Oh, so I should have UNC down here. Oh, uh, you said so St. Mary, UCLA. I am going to cross out St. Mary and have UCLA winning in the second round. Nice. I uh, I did the opposite. Oh, because we had the same, didn't we? Yeah. You got, you got St. Mary's going? Yeah. I think it's probably wrong, but I'm going to see oh. if they can pull out an upset. Let's see. Uh, so then I had Texas and Texas versus Purdue. Yep. I am going to go with Purdue. Yeah. <clears throat> to continue on. I, I did that too. I didn't have Texas, but I did have Purdue going on from there. And then I have San Francisco versus Kentucky. Yep. And I am definitely going to go Kentucky here. So did I. And cross out San Fran. San Francisco treat. All right, we got one more. We got one more. Look, I hope Four more games. Four out there. more games. Uh, to the Midwest we go. I'm definitely siding with Kansas. Yep. We're going to take Kansas and cross out Creighton here. Uh, who you got for five twelve? I've got Iowa and um, South Dakota State in the second round, and I'm gonna so have got, Iowa moving on. I but got you have Richmond, Richmond, yeah. In South Dakota State versus Providence, which I am going to have. Man, if they can pull it off, I am going to have. South Dakota, just in case. I got South Dakota. So if South Dakota lose in the first round, I'm already down two games. <laughs> That's right, yeah. True that. Cool. So next up, LSU game versus Wisconsin, is it? Yep, yeah, that's what I have. So LSU versus Wisconsin. You want a one, two, three? Sure. One, two, 
three. LSU. LSU. <laughs> that was funny. What if Miami beats Auburn? Oh man. Man, Jack. I'm not so gonna that's do it. Next game, Miami. Yeah. Oh no, I got USC. You got USC and Auburn, yeah. Versus Auburn. Man, I already got Alabama. I know. And then I have another. I thought I, I felt like I had another. Yeah, LSU and as an SEC team, I Arkansas. Got Arkansas and Bama winning their second round game. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go USC, man. I need some out of the West Coast. I'm not careful. I'm gonna end up with a. Auburn's a number two seed. All SEC. Uh, I'm the second out here trying to do it. I'm going to end up with an all SEC Final Four if I'm not careful. Nope, I don't have an SEC team in that. Uh, in I that got bracket. Arkansas, Bama, and I don't think I have Bama going past the Sweet 16 anyway against Duke. No, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Auburn here, man. Yeah, that's what I did. I'm going to cross USC out. I kind of want to put Miami in there, but I'm not going to do it. They not ready. I'm going to hit print on this and see if I can save So I'm going to fill that out in actual bracket form and not this piece of paper that I wrote down. Yeah. Uh, and post it up on our page. Yeah. I'll do that with mine, too. So this will be live. Cool. So, hey, if you filled out your bracket uh, and you've been watching, uh, if you watch this video yeah. later on, fill out your bracket, uh, at least the first two rounds, if you fill it all out, I need um, a catch you phrase. post it in the comments of this video uh, or send it to us in message, whatever, we'll screenshot and post it up for you. Uh, and we'll give out a prize after the first two rounds. Then we'll give out a prize leading into the final four. And then we'll get out a final prize if you have the championship winner, if nobody has the championship winner, then it's last man won't standing. Won't be a prize, yeah. Oh yeah, last, last man standing, yeah. So prizes. That's that was that. I'm excited, man. Look, this is the first. This is the first time I filled out a bracket in probably two it's years. It's been a while for me too. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and I'm surprised I don't have. I mean, I got Arizona going a little far, but uh, we'll see. They, I got them going to the Sweet 16 uh, with Gonzaga. So I got Gonzaga, Kansas, Arizona, which is some big, big name teams. Houston, yeah, Arkansas, UCLA, San Diego State, Alabama, LSU, Purdue, Duke. Kansas and Auburn. It's a lot of sex. Teams I got a weird. There. I got a weird thing with Memphis going far, man. I don't know why. Even passing, oh, even passing no. Gonzaga. You know what? You got Memphis and Michigan in the Sweet Sixteen, and both of those coaches had incidents this year. Had so incidents. Could, yeah, where they like, well, obviously with Jawan Howard putting his hands on the Wisconsin coach. Yeah. And then you have Penny Hardaway snapping on the media. Right, right. You know, and going off on the media. I have your cut back and apologize. So you might be on to something. Got something to prove, huh? So Ron said, I would try to do it. I'm getting ready to head to work. I'm he a, said, I don't want a prize. Ron, it doesn't matter if you want a prize or not. That's not yeah. what we said. It's about what you want, dude. What you want. This is our show. <laughs> <laughs> our rules, our stipulation. That's right. If you participate, we're gonna give you a prize, yeah. my brother. Yeah. You a give it to somebody, man. You don't like the prize, give it to somebody else. That, exactly. Be a gifter. Yeah. Yeah. Head forward. Help somebody out, man. Give them no. that Amazon gift card. They can buy all the baby powder they want. Bam! Slapping it all on the <laughs> chest. <laughs> all the baby powder you can have. Facts. Uh, man, I'm excited. Hey, I hope y'all fill out y'all brackets. Uh, you know, let's have some fun with it. Uh, Grace brackets, Hill coming back to live in full effect. I'm happy to be back. Uh, we going to keep, you know, keep this thing lighthearted, uh, more sports oriented, uh, especially for me being in, in, involved in youth sports now and uh, getting the ball rolling there. You know, I'd rather keep it, you know, coaching for the kids and the parents and uh 
it's something we comfortable doing and talking about. So uh, it, it feels good to be back. The Great Scale is home, baby. Uh, looking forward to some bigger and better things. Yeah. Thank you for rocking with for us. Show. Sure. You're now rocking with the best. Oh. Yeah. Kanye, no, yeah. Kanye is the goat. We're we're glad we're Kanye glad to be back, man. I'm stoked to be to be doing the show again. And um, you know, we had talked what three or four different times about about kicking it back off, and and we never did. And then we just decided the night was the night. So, Bam! So here it Tuesday is. Tuesday nights. Make sure y'all tune Tuesday in. Tuesday nights, eight p.m. Central Standard Time. Great scale. Nothing. Yeah, it's you Tuesday said, night. What could you possibly be doing? In the background while you over there watching your Netflix. What could you possibly be doing? Oh it's man, I just watched it's before the, between work, between work and coming back to the shop to do the show. I watched the new Spider-Man movie finally. Oh really? Yeah, it was good, man. If you haven't seen it yet, you gotta watch it. it. Yeah, it's good. The Batman movie's whack. Is I it mean, whack? Not to throw it out there for anybody that want to go see it, but I heard it was good. You didn't like it? Yeah, I didn't like it. I mean, they, it's it's it. I didn't like it. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I'm not gonna go pay money to see it. I'll wait for yeah, it to I come mean, out on uh, HBO Max or whatever. Yeah. So. Appreciate you, Doyle. You need to come home and visit, man. Indeed. Or I'll come to Utah, Doyle, out in Utah, man. Utah. Yeah. Man, you? look, I'm trying to take. We trying to take a trip to Utah, Montana, somewhere. Yeah. I said I want to go to Middle America. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I want to go, like, just chill in some tranquility. Yeah. Just get uh, out in the woods I mean, and just be out there. Right. Gallenberg is nice, but Gallenberg Yeah, but it's like busy. tourist city. Yeah, yeah it's like it's tourist like town. Busy. Yeah. I mean, like, some straight up. You just want to be in the woods. Yeah. 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 That would be fun. In nature. I wish we had nope, some places close by. I got that property out in Wyoming now. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I wish I we had some go. places close by where you could just, like, go. And just be in the wood. Like, there's some places out in, like, the Pacific Northwest where you, yeah. like, you just, like, check in, right? And be like, I'm going out into the, onto the mountain for, like, five days. And if you don't yeah. come back on the fifth day, like, they start to look for you. You know what I mean? Because you just go. Right. You just go out into the wilderness, you know? Like, that would be cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. But anyway, you it's can't bring the kids on that, though. No, no, that's no you can't take the kids on that one. Yeah. It was naked and afraid. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> naked and afraid. Yeah, oh, we all get sued. Ah! All right. Yikes. Yeah, so we'll be back next Tuesday to talk about what happened in the first two rounds of uh, of the tournament and whatever and else happens in between. So The NFL draft is on the way. The combine's over with. So Yeah, but it won't be till like April, it. right? Man, this NFL news is crazy. Make sure y'all tune in, get in touch. We're going to talk about that next week. And the baseball lockout. All this money. Baseball back. Oh, they signed that deal? Baseball starts April 7th, I think. Oh, man. See, I'm out the loop. Opening like, day. Man, they're wasting all this money. Opening day. We, are, we just getting over COVID. Now y'all want to have a yeah, lockout. Yeah, I know. We had the short crazy. season two years ago. and then Yeah, this is crazy, yeah, man. It's crazy. Bro, man, it's crazy. Anyway. Uh, great show. All right. We out of here. Thank y'all for watching. It's been real. It's been fun. But it ain't been it's real fun. Rebound. And we out. <laughs>